What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is a Third Person Podcast. That's Mike. What's going on? I'm Chris. We're going to talk about the Comic-Con uh, Season 9 Walking Dead trailer. Uh, we're going to just give a brief little whatever we thought about it. And, uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Mikey, what did you think of this trailer? You know what? The the Walking Dead trailers never seem to disappoint. It's if the show can actually, you know, match up to what they give us initially in these trailers. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, dude, I'm excited about it. I thought the trailer was badass. The music, the scenes that we're getting, they gave us a lot of a lot of um, little Easter eggs and hints about things. I'm just hoping that the show will step up um, to to match what they gave us, especially since now Rick is supposedly confirmed. Um, Not supposedly, be he's he's gone. Well, I don't know. It's just weird because I saw he said, like he said it though. He said the role of Rick Grimes will never be far away from me or something like that. Like I love this show. I live for it this means, show. It means he that it's open that he'll come back later. So so I that's don't what think I'm saying. They're kill him. I don't think they're gonna that's kill him. Saying. But he's leaving the show. Yeah, and they're setting up. Obviously, I'm gonna tell you what I thought, man. I cool trailer, great trailer, but. I just don't have that excitement anymore that I used to. <clears throat> and yeah. it's upsetting. Well, we know that. Me. We know that if anybody watched our uh, <laughs> Yeah, but, but you know, I was like, you. oh, I can't wait to see this trailer. I watched the trailer yeah. and I'm like, all right, look, I I mean, it's not, I don't know. I mean, I was I was like, oh, they got him in the cell. They got Negan in the cell. They got Maggie in a, in a, in a, in a more of a role. She's got the baby. Well, I don't know whose baby that was. I would have that's liked her. to have stopped. I would, I'm, not, I'm wondering if that was Gracie or I if thought, that's actually I Maggie's the same baby. same thing, but she's still not pregnant. So I just assume she had the baby. Maybe. maybe. I just assume she had the baby. I just assume mm -hmm. it's – and Gracie's going to be like a toddler now. Yeah. You know, yeah. she's going to be a toddler. I don't know, man. I, I don't want to start this all off all negative, but I, I'm just – like you said, like they have to step up. Like it's not that the show doesn't look good – and cool things don't happen, but it's just like the dialogue. It's just I don't I don't get it. I just don't. I really don't understand. And and like I just don't feel as excited. I'm gonna watch every trailer they put out. I'll, I'll watch every clip. I'm gonna watch yeah. them all to help build myself back up to just be just to enjoy the show again. I'm just so down on the show. And yeah. then you because then we're watching shows like Badlands and Preacher, and it's just like. These are dope shows. Like the thing, maybe I'm just burnt out on Walking Dead. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe the um, all out war thing just maybe went a little too long for you. It did. It really did, dude. It should have just so been one it's... season done. Listen, we're getting we're getting Negan in the dark cells. So that's kind of crazy. That keeping I him love in that the dark the like that, yeah, that, right? That was that was great. The dialogue, um, you know? what did I write? I, we get some we get some dialogue from Michonne about there's gonna have to be some kind of standardized rules between all the groups. We see the signs with you know sanctuary this way, you know um, oceanside this way. So it's just it's a, a buildup of community. We see them um, working on the bridge, that bridge that's collapsed. So maybe that's a barrier between getting one, you know, one side to another side and connecting everybody. So I think it's just a big, um, you know, we get, we're obviously getting new characters. Um, we have a, a church that was built with Gabriel and he's um, speaking with, new you know, or or, or, yeah, yeah. new, um, New people. We get in the Jada stuff with the helicopter, which was interesting. And we were talking about how the helicopter had that same symbol on the cans that um, Jadis was was eating when she was in the in the junkyard. Right. So there's like, and she's also holding up the walkie-talkie in that same scene. So is she speaking with with the person that's in the helicopter, or is it just yeah. she's Look, speaking with Rick, something yeah. like that? So we're getting. They gave us a lot of stuff. They give us a lot of stuff and hints, and if you go nosing through Google and searching and all this all stuff, Easter kind eggs. of get, yeah. There's a lot yeah. of Easter eggs. So here's the things we know: the whispers yeah. are there. Alpha's in it. Al um, uh, Samantha Morton's been cast as is Alpha. It's the whispers. We're doing the whispers. Yeah. And they pretty much they gave it to us. <laughs> I mean, you it's know. the whispers. So it's it's, yeah. and that's great, and that's fine because it's where they should have went. There's really no reason. Here's what I think, though. Obviously, and it's all over the internet and everything. You know, we, you know, Rick is leaving. They set this whole thing up for Rick is leaving. They set this whole thing up that they're starting to think it looks like it's been not even starting. It looks like people don't agree with Rick's way of doing things. So they're yeah. setting up Maggie to do her own thing. They're setting up Negan in the cell. They're setting up the Whisperers, and they're gonna have Alpha. They're setting up all these things. You want to know what? If Rick leaves, I. 
they look they they changed up fear the walking dead for the better as far as i know you know what i mean Mm. and if they can do that with this show if they can find a way to continue going on without rick that's great. Well, maybe, like you said, maybe it's a maybe the whispers capture him or something, and we don't see him for a season maybe. or something. But I mean, you know, I, the whole I don't thing, know. I don't know. I just, I just, I don't know if there is a show without Rick. I, I don't, don't know. I, I don't know. That's the number one question, and that's what a and lot Maggie's of leaving too. And Maggie's leaving too. So see, but the thing is, it's how are like you taking both leaders. Well, I, that's I, why I don't think it's all that it seems. I, I but she's been, but she's got a new show already. It's been I think it's been. But that doesn't up. mean that doesn't mean that she can't do this show as I, well. I, I agree. I all, agree. All but... basically, dude. If you look, if you look at a lot of channels, if you look on on a, on a lot of Google searches and things like that, you have people one day saying she's she's definitely gone. You have Rick. They're definitely gone. Then someone posts another video with something and says, "Oh, Rick back." Rick never not leaving. So no one knows. It's all yeah. It's all just um, up in the air. Even with that quote from from um, Andrew Lincoln, it still doesn't make me feel a hundred percent that we'll never see him again. I I agree. I don't think I don't think uh, we're you know? not going to see him a hundred percent again. I think he might be going away, and that's fine. Yeah. I just don't. And well, if, I just don't know if the show can handle having Maggie because Maggie is a big. She's. She, and, and again, I, I, we only have the comic to reference, and I know they're diverting, but they're also not diverting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're also going with the whispers now, so they're not. So they're diverting, but they're taking the major plot points, which is fine. Yeah. But I don't know. There's nobody else on the show that's strong enough to to be the leader role. So it's Maggie or Rick. If you get rid of both of them, who, what are you doing? I mean, I Let's... love Norman Reedus, and his character's great, but he's not the leader. He's not a leader. The character that would be a complete character 180 for him. You yeah. know, Carol's not a leader. She, these are all these are all you know ancillary characters that support the main characters. You see, Rick again. You're having Rick and Daryl. Are we friends or are we on the same side? I don't well, that's know. That's what are I we? was gonna. Yeah, that's what I was gonna get to because there's obviously a, a division between the two. So, and there was a scene. You know, there was a there was a, there was um, some some uh, a piece that we got from from Daryl talking, and he says when we were a smaller group. You know, um, it felt right. It felt right. He doesn't write. They don't like this. And and that. Plus, don't forget you have. Don't forget you have the whole the whole com- the other community now coming with with the with the new governor and everything. Yeah, her name yeah. is Governor Milton, I believe. You know, mm. so and she showed up at the. You know, that was her. Like she showed up already at the end of season uh, eight. So it's like that's all happening. So if if they're or are they just teasing that for like next season and they're going to do the whispers this season because the 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 the, the governor Milton stuff is like current now in the comics, you know, like yeah. or the comics have just like just left that six um uh six book arc and they're they're in something else at this point, right? I have one more to catch up. I'm I'm almost yeah. caught up. But I mean the point is is you know, look, we're getting a lot of new characters and that's great. Um, I'm happy to see well, some let, of these other characters. Let's see come where in. it all fit. Yeah, let's see where it all fits in because yeah. now I'm hearing that they might be two two jumps, two time jumps. Um, oh, so like it'll be it'll be here, but also here. So it the time so we jump forward to point A, but we're also jumping forward to point C. So it's maybe, like we're kind of so maybe, the show's uh, gonna go back and forth like they like 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 lost or like it used to do when it went back in yeah. time. Yeah. Because listen, I mean, spoiler alert: if you don't know in the comic book, there's a there's a, like a two year time jump kind of a thing. Um, on the show, when we see, we only saw like one little clip of um, of Judith, and she's the same Judith running around that she was when we left season eight. So I'm wondering if that's just before beforehand before they do this 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 kind of jump because obviously there's a prosperous time for every for Alexandria there's a rebuild peer, uh, uh, period there's you're building this 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 church and and you're you're trying to build men bridges and and bring together all these communities so um, do we see a lot of that before there's a substantial time jump? Right, yeah. And that's where the whispers come from and stuff like that. Because in that last clip with Eugene and Rosita, it was hard to even tell it was them until you really stopped and looked at it. So maybe I didn't that, even know. I, I didn't even right? know. It look, doesn't yeah, it doesn't look like. So it. maybe I mean, that Rosita, takes maybe. place. Maybe that takes place after the time jump because, as we know, uh, and 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 fans of the, of the books know that that's where the time jump comes after the time jump the whispers are there so it's a cool thing if you haven't checked it out at that last scene of the trailer you hear it sounds like where are they in like a creepy kind of 
zombie voice. But yeah, so they're, that's, they're, yeah. So that's, that's where there's that's a lot. Cool. Of See, that's cool. That's yeah. what the show needs. The show needs the whispers. Yeah. It needs to make the zombies scary again. And and they, they they showed a lot of zombie stuff in this trailer. And Mike and I again are talking about the extended five minute trailer. But mm-hmm. so we but but we don't know like what you show all those, but you know. Does that mean you're gonna have a lot more zombie things? You know, what I mean, at one point I think it was Daryl like, takes out two at once, and like, like I want to see a lot more zombie action. I want to see more zombie action. I want better dialogue. I want, I want situations with people to be more dynamic. You know, the acting's always been phenomenal. I'm never talking about the acting. That's that's what I gotta say. I've said it before for years now. I've never, I'm never talking about the acting. What I'm talking about is the situation these actors have put in and this dialogue. Like, it's got to be better. The, the pacing has always been something that we always spoke it's about. slow. Yeah, no, it's got to just go. Just go. Yeah. Every other show it. that we're watching is doing, it, is doing it better. Just do it. So, look, having said all that, I, um, you know, I don't know. Maybe, you know, talking about it with you now has made me a little bit more excited. Now I'm thinking about the whispers and all that cool stuff. That's cool. I do understand why you can see why Carl isn't there anymore because <laughs> – they don't have Sophia, and Sophia is a huge thing in the com. Not huge, but you know, Sophia is a huge thing in the comic um, up to this point. Um, you know, while he's still around, and you know, in Alexandria with with uh, Maggie. You know, then you have you know Maggie son, and then you have you know Maggie son, yeah, Maggie son, and then you have another character who was with the. You know, not to say that she won't be in the show now, but there's there's a character from the Whisperer side that comes in and interacts with Carl. And I'm not going to say too much more about the comic in case you're not caught up. I mean, I know we well, it's, it's it's been so different too now, especially well, that's since my, Carl's gone on the show. That's my like, point. They, they, I can see because there are some char- integral characters that were in the Carl storyline that are not there. The only problem with having the Whisperers now without Carl is that Carl was the linchpin to the Whisperers storyline in the comic. And I hope that they find a, a good way to incorporate it because I'm a little maybe off maybe that's maybe that. Judith or something maybe Judith with Judith's a time not, jump thing she becomes that kind of thing Two or, years, dude, or no, she's only gonna be six five you know she's not gonna be that old well there there may be I've not. heard like little whispers that there could be two separate jumps one for two years right. one for you said five that, years so I don't know we'll we'll see what happens who okay. knows anyway who knows? look that's it we're we're not gonna get too much into it we we appreciate you guys watching this video Mikey where can they get to us. Of course, get us at Third Person Podcast on YouTube. Write the comments below. Um, write about the trailer. What do you think? Uh, check us out at Instagram at Third Person Pod and Facebook uh, at Third Person Pod. You can have a listen or ha- or watch us on iTunes as well. And don't forget, Badlands fans, get the petition signed. We're trying to get into the Badlands cast to New York Comic Con this October. So there's links. We'll put links in the descriptions for all that kind of stuff. Just put your email in there. Show them some love if you enjoy the Badlands. Yep, let's do it. Let's get them over there. So that's it, guys. Once again, like Mike said, get into this comic. Ah, look, we missed a bunch of stuff. I'm sure we did. We didn't go over all the Easter eggs. So you want to talk about them? You know where to do it, down below or out, right. or, or, or on our socials, anywhere. We, we want to keep this conversation going. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much. We will see you on the next episode of Third Person Podcast for The Walking Dead.